The story of a jelly begins just like ours, with a male and a female looking for a chance to reproduce. Adult jellies gather in large numbers to spawn. This means that they release huge amounts of sperm and unfertilize eggs into the surrounding water. These spawning events continue throughout the lives of the adult jellies and are triggered by their proximity to other jellies, light and fruit abundance. The egg grows into a small larva called Planula. This planula can swim freely and resembles a microscopic flatworm covered in tiny hairs. The planula continues to grow and when it is sufficiently large, it tries to find a suitable, solid surface to attach itself to. The attached planula develops into its next life stage, the polyp. During this phase, the jelly gets fixed to the ground, and the other end extends into the water with a ring of tentacles surrounding its mouth slash anus. In this phase, the jelly has a fully developed digestive system and is able to feed itself efficiently. When conditions are ideal, the polyp begins to reproduce asexually by cloning itself. The polyp elongates and forms segments which will eventually form independent animals. This process is known as strobulation. The tiny segment of polyp becomes a free-living organism known as anophyra, which is the precursor of the adult jelly. At this moment, the aphyra is no more than a few millimeters across, but as it swims away, it feeds and grows. The aphyra does not have the close bell shape and tentacles of an adult jellyfish and has to rely on the undeveloped lobes of its bell to push food towards its mouth.
As the Ephira grows, its bell takes on the characteristic shape and its tentacles and oral arms will grow into the forms unique to its species. This adult form is called the Medusa. The adult Medusa stage of the jolly's life is what most people will recognize as a jellyfish. <laughs> 